Amen. Isa pong mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. At uh, tunay nga na dakila ang Panginoon na binayayaan niya tayo ng uh, isang linggo na naman na puro himala at kadakilaan ng kanyang ipinamala sa ating mga buhay. Kaya naman tayo ay naririto, nagsama-samang muli upang uh, i-celebrate ang goodness ng Lord sa ating mga buhay. Kaya naman tayong lahat ay tumayo at ating alaya ng papurit pagsamba ang ating Diyos na bahay. Habang wini-welcome natin ang kanyang banal na spirito sa lugar na ito, let us sing as we gather. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. We came. We'll be blessed because we came once again as we gather. As we gather, may your spirit work with us. Begin to 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pinupuri ka namin, O Diyos. We praise you, we worship you this day, O God. Hallelujah. Lord, bago po kami dumulog sa iyong banalatrono ng, kab- ng kabanalan, O God, we are asking for your forgiveness to us, Panginoon, sa lahat, O God, ng mali na amin nagawa, nasabi, naisip, O Diyos. Patawad po sa lahat ng ito, O God, at muli po, O Diyos, we pray, O God, na paka linisin mo kami, O God, ng iyong banaladugo na natigis nun sa krus ng Kalbaryo. At muli po, Panginoon, gawin mo po kaming karapat dapat sa iyong banalaharapan sa oras na ito, O God, as we come to worship you, as we come to uh, praise your holy name, as we come to glorify you, God, cleanse us with your precious blood, O God, that pour out in the cross of Calvary, O God. At patuloy po, O Diyos, na ang araw na ito, Panginoon, ay maging uh, kaaya-aya sa iyong harapan, O God, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Gawin mo po kaming karapat dapat, Panginoon, na magpurit sumamba sa iyong dakilang pangalan sa pangalan ni Jesus at maging uh, kaaya-aya kami sa iyong pandinig, Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus. At sa araw po na ito, Panginoon, Lord, we pray, O God, sa lahat po, Panginoon, ang tatayo sa harapan na ito, Panginoon. Lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, ang iyong lingkod na gagamitin sa hapon na ito, God. Lord, patuloy po na i-bless mo ang kanyang buhay, Panginoon. At patuloy, Panginoon, ang anointing before, Panginoon, ay maging mas mataas ngayon, Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Let your anointing be, Panginoon, mas greater than before, God. As you uh, step, Panginoon, sa uh, harapan mo, Panginoon. Habang ngayong salita, O Diyos, ang ipinapahayag at ipinapahayag niya, hayaan mo po, Panginoon, ang laman ng puso mo. Let your revelation, Panginoon, ang patuloy naming matanggap sa hapon na ito, O God, sa pangalan ng Jesus. At patuloy po, O Diyos, as we hear your words, Panginoon, uh, let the signs, wonders, and miracles come, Panginoon, as we hear as we hear your voice, Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus, sa pangalan ni Jesus sa pangalan ni Jesus. At patuloy din po lahat po o Diyos ng, uh, sa maghapon na ito, Panginoon patuloy na i-bless mo o Diyos ang lahat ng maghapon na ito na aming gagawin o God sa pangalan ni Jesus. At patuloy po o Diyos na idideklara namin ang katagumpayan mo sa maghapon na ito o Diyos. At wala na pong gawa ng kaaway ang makapananaig sa aming kalagitnaan, kundi lamang ang pinapahintulutan namin, O Diyos, ang iyong banal na spirito sa aming kalagitnaan, na siyang uh, pumainan lang sa aming kalagitnaan, O God, at patuloy na kumilis at gumawa, gumawa gumalaw, O Diyos, sa lahat ng nakakapakinig sa pangalan ni Jesus. Salamat po muli, Panginoon. Lahat po ng makakapakinig, patuloy po na ihanda mo ang mga puso at mga spirito, O God, at patuloy na maging obedient, Panginoon, sa lahat, O God, ng mga uh, ipinag-uutos mo, O Diyos, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Ikaw po ang ma-glorify, ikaw po ang mapasalamatan, ikaw po ang ma-praise, ikaw ang ma-worship sa araw na ito, at patuloy na madakila, O Diyos, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sa iyo namin, Panginoon, ibinabalik ang lahat ng papuri, lahat ng kaluwalhatian, lahat ng pasasalamat sa natatanging pangalan lamang na aming Panginoon at tagapagligtas na si Jesus. Amen. Amen! Tunay nga na mabuti ang Diyos at uh, wagas ang kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. Kaya naman, we are here to praise Him and to exalt His name. Let us sing, Your love is beautiful! For God, truly, Your love is beautiful, Lord! Hallelujah. And Your love is unfailing. Songs of praise, you have loved me to this place. Where your love and grace move within my life. Now your message is my life. Your love, your love is beautiful. Your love is beautiful. It's the reason why I sing. Here by the water stand, I am living for the 
For your love is better than life. Your love is better than everything and anything in this world. Truly, O oh God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Your love is constant. Your love is unbreakable. And your love is comp- uncomparable because your love is perfect. Let us worship our God, church. Let us sing before our God and let us exalt His name in this place.
Always with us. The goodness of the Lord is perfect and pure. That's why, Lord, we are here to bring back all the goodness and the gratefulness that you have done to us, O God.
Hallelujah, Lord God. Indeed, Lord, you are good. And we will never fail to sing of your goodness. We will never fail to declare of your goodness, O God. Because you have been good in our lives. All our lives you have been good. Even in times when we had troubles, you are good. Even in times when we are weak, you are good. Even in times when we fail to trust you, you are good. You have never failed us, Lord. You are good, and your goodness is forever. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. the goodness of God all my life Lord in all my life you have been faithful in all my life you have been so so
your goodness. It is your miracle. It is your blessing. It is your healing. It is your prosperity in our lives. Good health, perfect health, oh God, will run after us. Your blessings will run after us. Your faithfulness, your joy, your strength in our lives will run after us continually all the days of our lives. I surrender. that runs after us it is your blessing it is your faith it is your strength it is your joy it is your blessing after blessing your glory after glory that will run after us oh God miracles after miracles healings after healings blessings after blessings will run after us oh Lord as we completely surrender our lives to you as we completely dedicate and lay down our lives to you. Your goodness will run after us. Your goodness will run after us. We receive it, Lord. We declare it, Lord. Yes, receive your healing. Ikaw na nanonood ngayon. Tanggapin mo ang ibala, kagalingan ng Panginoon. Pinapagaling ka lang, Diyos. The goodness of God is overflowing. The goodness of God is available for us to possess, to receive, to accept. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Tinatanggap namin, Panginoon. We receive it, Lord. As you have promised, O oh God, your goodness will run after us. Your blessing runs after us. Your healing, your miracle, your blessing runs after us. And so we thank you, O oh God. We bless you and we give you glory, honor and praise. Because wala pa man, Panginoon, ay naggumawa ka na. Kumilos ka na. Gumalaw ka na sa aming mga buhay. At tinatanggap namin ang Himala. We receive your miracles. We receive your healing. We receive your strength, your joy, your peace, your very presence in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we will sing forever of that goodness in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. To your name be the glory alone. Amen and amen. Yes, so far. Yes, tayo pong lahat ay uh, makakaupo. Let us uh, sit in the presence and glory of our Lord. 
So, muli kami po ay uh, bumabati ng isang uh, mapagpalang linggo. Ang Diyos po ay mabuti, tapat. God is good, great, and He is faithful. And He never fails to amaze us. Amen? Amen. He never fails to give us what we need and desire from Him. You know, napakaganda po ng message ng kanta. His goodness will run after us. Many people, they run after God. They, they are so desperate to look for what they're looking. They are so desperate to look for blessing, for miracle, for healing, for uh, whatever they need from God. But it is the other way around. It should be the blessings of God, the goodness of God, the presence of God should run after us. Because Psalm 23 verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Sinusundan tayo. Amen? But uh, we will learn today about the goodness of God. May it be that we will be able to grasp you know, the deep revelation of God about His goodness. Because we usually say, God is good. Amen? Pero nauunawaan po ba natin? At... Uh, Nare-realize kung anong ibig sabihin kapag sinabi natin, God is good. Alright? God is good. The goodness of God. So, if you will be asked by people, you know, why do you believe in God? You have not seen Him. Bakit kayo naniwala sa Diyos? Hindi nyo, sila, hindi nyo siya nakikita. Di ba? You haven't seen God. You have not, uh, you know, come face to face with God. And why do you believe in God? So, if somebody asks you to describe God, How will you describe him? And many people will say, oh, God is the creator of all things. Because you look at the trees, the sun, the moon, and the stars, you see that there is a creator. And so God is the creator of all things. Maybe we will say, oh, God is powerful, or God is great, or, or God is beautiful, or God is everlasting and sovereign, amen? But you know what? If uh, somebody will ask me how to describe God, I will simply say, God is good. Sasabihin ko lang po, ganun ka simple. God is good. And you cannot say that God is good if you have not experienced His goodness in your life. Amen? Hindi mo masasabing ang Diyos ay mabuti kung hindi mo naranasan ang kabutihan niya sa buhay mo. Amen? That is why we can say God is good because we have experienced. Amen. We have seen it with our very eyes that God is good in our lives. And the Bible truly declares that God is good. You know, the Bible is full of declarations of the goodness of God. And one of those is found in Psalm 106 verse 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. God is good for His mercy endures forever. Psalm 107 verse 1, it is the same message. It says, O give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. Sa Psalm 118 verse 1, O give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, because His mercy endureth forever. Forever, Amen? So, the book of Psalms, you know, if we may summarize it, is all about the goodness of God. Lagi pong sinasabi dyan. Sa Psalm 119.68, sabi po doon, You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Amen? So, sinasabi po doon ni, uh, ng Psalmist, sa Psalm 119.68, You are good patungkol sa ating Panginoon. And what you do is good. Amen? What you do is good. Lahat daw ng ginagawa ng Diyos ay mabuti. Lahat. And maybe you can tell me, anong lahat mabuti? Look, at, look around you. Hindi yan mabuti, di ba? Why do you say that all that what God does is good? Because if you look around that, that is not good. It is very bad. What is happening around us is very bad. Amen? But that does not change the fact that God is good. Because the goodness of God is not based on the events and circumstances of our lives. 
Hindi ito nakabase sa mga sirkomstansya ng buhay natin. Sapagkat madalas sa buhay natin, everything seems to be crumbling down and it is being very bad. Di po ba? Masamang masama. But hindi po nito binabago ang katotohanan, mabuti ang Diyos. Sapagkat ang kabutihan ng Diyos ay uh, sovereign, encompassing. Hindi ito, hindi mo ito titingnan sa isang bahagi lamang. So, maybe what you see right now is not good. It's bad, but you know, in the sovereign will and plan of God, in the end it will still be good. Romans 8:28. Roma 8:28. Ano pong sabi doon? And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. So sa huli, sa ngayon pangit. Sa ngayon hindi mabuti. Sa ngayon hindi maganda. As of now, as of this very moment, it is not good. It is very bad. Very very bad. But in the sovereign will of God, in the, in the totality of the will of God, God works it for the good, especially for those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Kaya lang magkaminsan, mahirap nating panampalatayanan. Sometimes we fail to put our trust and faith in God that we are dinadaya tayo ng ating nakikita, ng ating nararamdaman. And what we see and what we feel is not faith. It is feelings. It is emotion. It is based on senses. Okay? Pero hindi po yan. Ang sabi po ng Bible, the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 11. Ang mananampalataya ay nabubuhay hindi sa nakikita, hindi sa nararamdaman hindi sa nangyayari at nagaganap sa kanyang paligid. Ang isang mananampalataya at isang kristyano ay nabubuhay sa pananampalataya. So, maybe right now, you do not seem to feel that God is good in your life. But as I am saying, the goodness of God is not based on your circumstances, is not based on your feelings, It is based on the absolute truth that God is good. So number one basis why we say God is good is that the goodness of God is absolute. Okay? Ang kabutihan ng Diyos po ay absolute. Ito po ay uh, kompleto, ganap. Absolute means no ifs or buts, no conditions, no prerequisites. It is absolute. Pag sinabi mo pong absolute, ganap, kompleto, wala pong uh, strings attached. Amen? It is absolute. So, as I have said, as I, as I was saying, the goodness of God is not based on circumstances, but it is based on His very nature and character. Goodness is a character of God. Goodness is the very nature of God. And that character never changes. If God changes His character, then He is not God. Because sabi niya sa Malachi 3.6, I change not. Hindi ako nagbabago. Kaya pag ang Diyos nagbago sa kanyang kabutihan, hindi na siya Diyos. But no, the, the, our God, the God of Christianity, does not change because it is very nature. It is very character to be good. Amen? Everything He does is good. Sabi mo doon sa Bible, lahat mabuti. Eh kahit na pangit, kung titingnan mo sa kabuuan, yan ay para sa ikabubuti. Kaya lang magkamisan, hindi natin nakikita yung purpose at value ng mga kaganapan sa buhay natin. Ang nakikita lang natin kung ano yung nasa harapan natin. But behind that, God is working for the good of those who love Him. Amen? Amen? So, remember that. No matter what you're going through in life, you always believe and declare God's goodness is absolute. Amen? It is the truth. It is invincible. Hindi ito nagbabago. Amen? And eventually, everything will turn out to be good because God is good and everything He does is good and that is an absolute truth. Okay? Naunawaan po ba natin? 
So number one, why do we say that the goodness of God is uh, always there? Because it is the very nature of God to be good. Amen. So number one, the goodness of God is absolute. It is essentially absolute. And uh, yun po yung uh, katotohanan dinideklara ng Panginoon. Sa Psalm 100 verse 5, For the Lord is good, His loving kindness is everlasting, and His faithfulness is to all generations. Amen? Sabi po dun, the Lord is good, and His loving kindness is everlasting. So, Ang Lord, hindi lang siya good today, good yesterday, or good in some moments of our lives, but the goodness of God is absolute and perfect. Amen po ba? Hindi po ito uh, patsipatsi sa buhay natin. Ito po ay ganap, total, complete. That is what you mean by the absolute uh, goodness of God. So, Sa buhay po natin, sometimes we, don't, we cannot believe that. It is difficult and hard to believe that. But always remember that you know, the goodness of God is something that is the very nature and the very character of God. And so it does not change, okay? Because God does not change. And so His goodness will never change in my life. And in your life, hindi iyon magbabago. Amen po ba? Naunawaan po ba natin? Amen. Hindi po nagbabago ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Mabuti siya noon, mabuti siya ngayon, mabuti siya magpakailanman. Which leads us to the next, you know, uh, characterization of the goodness of God, which is, the goodness of God is forever. Right? Number one, the goodness of God is absolute, it is unchanging, it is complete, it is not a portion that God wants us to experience of His goodness, but it is absolute. And number two, His goodness has no timetable. It is forever. Alright? Ano pong sabi doon sa Psalm 23 verse 6? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Hanggang habang ikaw ay may hininga, pangako ng Diyos na ang goodness niya ay sasa iyo. Hahabulin ka nito. Bubuntutan ka nito. It will follow you all the days. Not some days. Amen? Not 100 days or not 58 years of your life. Or not, you know, ilang taon ka na ngayon. 36 years of your life, 25 years of your life, whatever, uh, you know, ano man ang kalalagayan mo sa buhay ngayon, saan ka mang panahon ng buhay mo, sabi po ng Panginoon, sasamahan ka niya ng kanyang kabutihan, magpasawalang hanggan. Habang ikaw ay may buhay, sasamahan ka ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Amen? Alright, sabi pa sa Psalm 136 verse 1, O give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Alright? Malinaw po ba yun? Kailan ang goodness po daw ng Panginoon? For He is good just today. For He is good just yesterday. For He is good in some moments of your life. For He is good in the last maybe 50 years of your life. Pero 50 years and above, hindi na good ang Panginoon. Hindi. It is forever. And remember, our God is a covenant-keeping God. Amen? He does not change. Yung kanya pong, uh, yung kanya pong uh, pakikipagkasundo sa atin ay hindi po nagbabago at hindi po yun natataningan. It does not have a timetable. It does not have a time lapse. It does not have an expiry. But the goodness of God is forever. It is not 100 years or 95 years of our lives. It is not 60 years of our lives, but all the days of our lives. Hanggang hanggang sa dulo, sasamahan ka ng Panginoon. And uh, kapag binilang mo ang forever, may bilang po ba ito? Okay, another word for forever is eternal, for eternity. 
for eternity. The goodness of God is for eternity, forever. Ilan taon yun? Ano ang bilang noon? It's infinite. Amen? Hindi, walang bilang. Ganun po yun. Pero marami pong tao, may, meron pong uh, bilang yung pagkaranas nila ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Nakakalungkot po because they cannot experience the fullness of the goodness of God in their lives. Because they cannot believe these promises of God. They cannot believe the truth of the word of God. When God says, I am good to you forever, believe that. Even if you are going through the rough times of your, of your lives, kahit na dumadaan ka sa isang matinding, mabigat na pagsubok ng buhay mo at para bagang hindi mo nararanasan na mabuti ang Diyos, paniwalaan mo sapagkat ang pangako ng Diyos, mabuti siya sa iyo, magpasawalang hanggan. Hindi lamang sa ilang bahagi ng buhay mo, hindi lamang sa ilang panahon ng buhay mo, kundi magpasawalang hanggan sa buhay mo. He is that good forever. Amen? And forever has no number, numerical value, no numerical value. Amen? So as long as you are breathing, as long as you are living, the goodness of God is on you, upon you, with you. Amen po ba? Amen. So kung tayo po ay... Uh, biniyayaan ng mahabang buhay ng Panginoon that we have, you know, come to the point in our lives that we have lived a full life. Amen. Praise God. And if you are just beginning, starting, amen, naku, napakaganda po ng uh, future na nakalaan sa'yo. Amen. Napaka dakila po ng bagay na plano ng Diyos para sa'yo para maranasan mo ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa buhay mo. And uh, this is one of my favorite verses sa Malakay 3.6. Dapat po, lagi nyo itong uh, uh, sa ulado. Malakay 3.6, ano pong sabi ng Panginoon? Napaka-simple, napaka-ikli. Very, very uh, short verse. The Lord says, I am the Lord, I change not. Ako ang Diyos, hindi ako nagbabago. So ang Diyos po ay mabuti. Patuloy siyang gumagawa ng mabuti. At ang paggawa niyang iyon ay hindi nagbabago, kailanman hindi magbabago. Amen. Sino po ang nagbabago? Tayo. Hindi po si Lord ang nagbabago. Kaya po hindi natin maranasan ang kabutihan ng Diyos. We cannot experience the goodness of God because we are the ones who change. You know, we change our commitment, we change our faith, we change our trust, you know. Suddenly we begin to feel like God is no longer at work in our lives. Suddenly we begin to doubt that God can still work in our lives. So it is not because God has changed, but it is because we have changed. Tayo po ang nagbago. Bigla na lang tayong nanlamig. Bigla na lang tayong nawala sa ating uh, pananampalataya. Bigla na lang tayong nawala sa pagdalo. Amen? Bigla na lang tayong uh, nag-backslide, nanlamig sa ating pananampalataya. Ang Diyos andun pa rin. He is always on His throne and He changed not. But the thing is, we are the ones who falter. We are the one who fail. We are the one who lose our faith and trust in the Lord. Especially when the things in our lives become very difficult. Amen? So marami pong hindi kayang mag-handle ng uh, difficulties ng buhay. So sa halip na pagtiwalaan yung pangako ng Diyos that I am good in your life and that goodness is forever, my child, we cannot believe it. So ano pong nangyayari? Tumatalikod po tayo. Tayo po ang nawawala sa Panginoon. Amen? But please remember that God's goodness is forever. Sabihin po nating lahat, God is good, God is good. Forever. forever. Amen. It's not only today. It's not only when things are good and nice and beautiful in our lives. But all the days of our lives, forever. Amen po ba? Kaya po ba natin yung paniwalaan, panampalatayanan? Even when things get rough, and even things become problematic, and burdensome, can we believe that God is good? Forever? 
Amen. Nawa po'y walang uh, uh, magbabago. Wala pong mawawala. Amen. Sa ating mga buhay, tayo po ay makaranas ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Okay, so number one, God's goodness is absolute. Number two, God's goodness is forever. And number three, God's goodness is for everyone to experience. It is available for everyone to experience. Saan po yan makikita? Psalm 145 verse 9. The Lord is good to all. Alright? Hindi lamang po sinabing the Lord is good to some. Good to those who are mabait. Good to those who are uh, uh, nice and kind. But sabi po doon, the Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all that He has made. Amen? So, the goodness of God is expressed towards all humanity. Especially when He sent His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to save all mankind. Lahat po ay uh, dahilan ng kamatayan ni Jesus. Lahat po tayo, anuman ang kalalagayan natin sa buhay, whatever is our status in life, whether we are rich or poor, whether we are male or female, whether we are strong or weak, whatever is our situation in life, God has shown that goodness in our lives when He sent His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. So that whatever we need, blessings, healings, provision, Strength in times when we are weak, you know, financial breakthrough, especially pag malapit na ang bayaran. Dahil andyan na lagi hindi nawawala si Judith, amen, ng Meralco at ng Nawasa at ng mga lahat ng mga ating mga obligasyon, amen. So, you know, God has promised that He is good to all. And part of that promise that He is good is provision. For our needs. Amen? Pagtugon sa lahat ng pangangailangan natin. Gaano man kalaki o kaliit ang pangangailangan yan, pag dinulog mo sa Diyos, siya po ay tutugon. Amen? Because God wants you to experience His provision, His protection, His guidance, His wisdom, His strength. The very life itself that you have. Amen? is a manifestation of the goodness of God. Ngayon, ang kailangan lang po natin ay ma-realize na yan ay manifestation ng goodness ng Panginoon. Because magkaminsan, oblivious tayo. Hindi po natin na-appreciate yung goodness na yun ng Panginoon. Yung sabi nga nila, bumangon ka sa umaga at humihinga ka pa, God is good in your life. Amen? Ilang beses mo nang napatunayan na nasa bingit ka ng kamatayan, ng aksidente, sa kuna at disgrasya, iniligtas ka ng Diyos. Because God is good. Amen? How many times have you proven that you are now giving up? You are now, you know, ikaw ay handa ng tumalikod at tumakas at uh, sumuko sa buhay, pero inabot ka ng Diyos, itinaas ka at nirestore ka at kinahabagan ka ng Panginoon. Because God is good in your life. Amen? How many times have you proven that God is good in your life when you ask for wisdom because you will have a very difficult exam and then God gave you the wisdom and then nung dumating ang resulta ng inyong exam ikaw pa ang pinakamataas ang marka. Amen? Nung isang araw po si Joshua meron siyang oral exam at uh, randomly binubunot yung pangalan nila. Siya ang number one na natawag Natataranta siya, sabi niya, Mama, ang hirap nito. Limang, ex- limang question lang ang kailangan namin sagutin. Make or break, dito nakasalalay ang final grade namin. Pero ako yung number one na tinawag. Mabuti yung mga nasa dulo kasi the same question eh, tatanungin. Eh, meron silang group chat. Pag ikaw ang nauna, ipapasa mo yung question. Yung mga sumunod, nakapaghanda na ng sagot. Pero siya, wala siyang mapaghandang sagot kasi hindi niya alam kung ano yung tanong. Amen. And I always remind my son, God has been faithful to you. God has been good to you for the last three years of your life in law school. You know, He has been very good to you and He's been very faithful to you. You know, paano mo, paano, paano ka mag-aalala? Eh, napatunayan mo na ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen. 
At alam nyo po, pagkatapos ng exam niya, lumabas siya, sabi niya, Mama, sabi ng teacher ko, very good, I like your answer. Binigyan siya ng 92. Sabi niya, masaya na siya doon kasi makaw 92 ko lang sa law school. Abay, uh, para ka nang tumama sa jackpot, sabi nga nila. <laughs> Amen? So, akala niya, he's just one of those who got a grade of 92. Pero hindi, lahat ng mga kaklase niya, on the 80s lang, siya lang nakakuha ng 92. Akala niya, yung top one nila, 94. Pero na-confirm niya, yung palang top one nila, 80, up, upper 80s lang ang nakuha. Siya lang ang nakakuha. You see? God is good. He manifests His goodness in your lives. Nung isang araw may nag-message sa kanya, Kuya Josh, grabe ka. Yung samplex ng exam mo. Nung pagpasok po ni Joshua sa law school, sabi niya, Mama, ang dream ko isang araw, maging samplex ako. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Siya yung makakakuha ng pinakamataas na marka at yung test paper niya, yun ang ginagawang reviewer ng mga susunod pang mga mag-aaral sa law school. At ang dami po niyang mga samplex na mga papers. Kasi andun yung pangalan niya eh. Pangalan niya doon at ginagawang reviewer ng mga lower years. At yung kanyang isang friend na lower year na kinuhanan siya ng mga tips paano makapasok sa law school, tinulungan niya, binigyan niya ng tips, nakapasok sa law school. At ngayon, sabi niya, Kuya Diyos, yung samplex ko sa corp, ikaw, grabe ka, almost perfect yung exam mo. Ha? Sabi ni Diyos, hindi ko nga alam kung ano yung grade ko dyan eh. Kung ano yung exam ko, paki, paki ano naman, paki uh, scan, screenshot mo, pasa mo sa akin. See, you, sometimes you even forget that God has been good in your life, na tinulungan ka niyang kumuha ng 99 sa exam mo. And then sometimes you need to be reminded of that. At si Joshua, ganun, kung minsan natataranta siya eh, minsan hindi ko rin naman maala, ma, kagaya ko yung finals niya. Sometimes, you know, the anxiety and the worry kicks in. But then, you know, you are always reminded of the goodness and the faithfulness of God. And in our lives, let us examine how many times has God rescued us From the times when we, you know, we are just so down, very, very down. And God was there to rescue us, to restore us. Tinatayo tayong patuloy ng Panginoon at tinitindig ng Panginoon. Amen? Because God's goodness is for everyone to experience. Para po sa lahat. Paano mo nasabi yan? Sapagkat sabi nga ng Bible, kahit daw sa masasama, sumisikat ang araw. Sa mabuti at masama, di ba? Nasa Matthew 5.45 yan. Sabi, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good. And then He sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. You see, the goodness of God is available for all even upon the wicked. But this wicked just don't recognize. And this goodness of God upon the wicked should be a chance for them to come to God to, for repentance. The goodness of God, the love of God, should lead them to repentance. So, kapag malambot ang puso nila, tinanggap nila yung uh, urging ng Holy Spirit sa kanila dahil ang kabutihan ng Diyos ay patuloy na nararanasan nila kahit na masama yung ginagawa nila, dapat itong maging dan para makapagbalik loob sila. Pero, kung hindi po sila nagbalik loob, despite the goodness of God in their lives, despite allowing the sun to shine upon them, just like with the righteous, just like, you know, uh, sending rain unto them, just like with the righteous, pag hindi po nila ginawa yun, judgment ang darating sa kanila. So, God is so good that He gives everyone a chance to repent, to realize that He is good. But if they don't come to that realization, Then that is when the judgment. Pero may kita mo na pakahaba ng pasensya ng Dios, na pakahaba ng ng uh, grace period ng Panginoon for the last two thousand years. Amen. That grace is manifesting continually in this generation, but that grace is soon, you know, to end. That grace is soon to end because we are now living in the last of the last days. You know, we are living on the edge of eternity. And uh, these things that are happening right now, these uh, natural disasters, these plagues, Matthew 24, that we have studied the last time, are the signs of the last days, the signs of the end times that you should be uh, watching about. Amen? 
so that we will know that mm, the goodness of God is there, the grace of God is there, but for the unrighteous, meron po itong katapusan. Kapag patuloy po silang nagmatigas, if the unrighteous, if the wicked continue to rebel against God, not to listen to the urging of the Holy Spirit so that they will repent and come to the knowledge of our Savior Jesus Christ, then judgment will come. Amen? But in the meantime, for those who love God, the goodness of God is forever. Amen? Okay, Luke 6.35. Ano yung preba na ang Diyos ay mabuti kahit kanino? Sabi sa Luke 6.35, But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. And then your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Wow! The Bible says God is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. If God is good to the ungrateful and the wicked, how much more with you? You are not wicked. You have been made righteous by the Son of God, Jesus Christ, when He died on the cross and you have accepted Him in your life as your Savior and Lord. If God is good to the wicked, bakit hindi siya good sa iyo? Bakit hindi siya good sa akin? Amen? So if God is good, even to the evil ones, even to the unrighteous ones, how much more should He be not good to you? Amen? So, God is good to everyone. Mabuti po ang Diyos sa lahat. Sa lahat ng tao. Pero, hindi po nararanasan to ng lahat ng tao. Sapagkat, hindi po nila ito tinatanggap. They do not accept the goodness of God. They do not see the goodness of God. They do not realize the goodness of God, even though it is always there. Romans chapter 2 verse 4, ito po yun. Do you despise the riches of His goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? Okay, yun po yun. Romans 2 4. The goodness of God is being shown to the wicked, to the evil, to the unrighteous, so that they will be led to repentance. Kaya wag po tayong nag, nagagalit or nagtatampo sa Lord. Sometimes, we nag tayo sa Lord. nag tayo. Kasi, Lord, bakit yung kapitbahay ko? Wicked yan. Unrighteous yan. Mula umaga hanggang gabi, puro mura ang bunga nga niyan. Sugal, alak, babae, puro, puro kasalanan ang ginagawa. Pero bakit maalwan ang buhay? Amen? Bakit maalwan ang buhay? Ako, natapat, nagbibigay ng ikapo, nagbibigay ng handog, nagbibigay ng offering, may sacrificial pa. Meron pang love gift sa men and women of God. Pero ba't hindi ko nararanasan? Marahil magkaminsan, ganun ang iyong tanong. Because you look at your neighbor and it seems that they are very wealthy. It seems that they are, live, they are living a comfortable life. But did you know that they are very wealthy but they are going to hell? Hello? Did you realize that they have a mansion and a uh, a dozen of cars, but their souls are going to hell. So, sinong nakakaawa? Ikaw o sila? Sinong nakakaawa? Ikaw na maaring wala kang mansion, wala kang duse-duse ng sasakyan, at uh, you are living a relatively simple life, but you know that you are saved and that you are going to heaven. You have eternal life as promised by the Lord. So, it, nasa pagtingin, nasa perspective po ng pagtingin natin sa buhay natin. Amen? At kung ano yung binavalue natin. What do we value the most in life? Do we value money? Do we value material things? Amen? Yun bang ba mahalaga sa atin? Na kapag ang ibang tao ay meron nun at wala tayo, naiingit tayo at nagtatampo tayo sa Diyos? 
Hindi po yun ang sukatan ng goodness of God. Amen? Praise God for these blessings, material and, and, and uh, financial blessings. But, you know, some people are, nasa, nasa mga bundok sila, sinasakripisyo ang buhay nila para sa gospel. Pa, sinasakripisyo ang kanilang uh, uh, buhay para po sa pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. And, and they are not experiencing these comforts of material wealth and, and comforts of this material blessing. So, it is maling-mali po yung ganong pananaw na ang sukatan ng goodness ng Panginoon ay magkaroon ka lamang ng material prosperity. Lamang. Amen? Although that is good. Okay? Kapag dumating yan, kapag nangyari yan, praise God. Amen? You will praise God. But that is not the ultimate. Because some people have never tasted, you know, na sumakay ng, uh, ng, ng first class na, na jet or he never tasted ng mag- check-in sa isang uh, five-star hotel, kumain ng masasarap na pagkain kasi nandoon po sila sa mission at nag-aalay ng buhay para po sa propagation ng gospel. Hello? Naunawan po ba natin? So kung saan po tayo dinala ng Panginoon at kung saan po tayo nilagay, nakalalagayan ng Panginoon, dapat po tayo magkaroon ng grateful heart because this is a manifestation of the goodness of God. Amen? Now, sabi ko nga sa inyo, iba yung ano ha, iba yung uh, ikaw ay uh, nasa nasa kalooban ng Panginoon. Nasa kalooban ka naman ng Panginoon. Pero ba't hindi mo nararanasan? Dapat tatanungin mo yun kasi dapat nararanasan mo rin yung blessings at goodness ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? Gusto niyo po bang maranasan ang goodness of God? God is good that He wants you to be healed. Ayaw niya nagsasuffer kayo sa, sa, sa physical infirmity and diseases and sicknesses. Amen? Why? Because 2,000 years ago, He paid for that on the cross. Namatay siya para sa sakit na yan, sa karamdamang yan. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Isaiah 53, 4-5, By my stripes, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Amen? Sa mga latay ni Jesus, tayo ay magaling na. Kaya ang nais ng Panginoon, maranasan natin ang kagalingan at Himala. That is part of the goodness of God. And so before, kanina, bago pa tayo nagsimula, pinaranasan ng Panginoon. Kanina, nag, nag uh, word of knowledge ang Panginoon that He is healing people, He is touching people, and, and granting miracles and, and physical healing to people. And I, I pray and hope that patuloy po nating maranasan niya because it is the very will of God. Na kayo po ay makaranas. Lahat po tayo, this goodness is for everyone to experience provisions, amen, protection, guidance, wisdom, life itself, amen. Buhay mismo, yung buhay natin ay blessings at good, sa goodness ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? Kaya hindi po karan, na, na isang Panginoon na tayo po ay nagsasuffer in pain because of our physical infirmities. Amen? And sometimes, you know, marahil because this, this body is frail. Ito po ay, uh, ito, itong katawang ito ay uh, hindi na po kasi ito ano eh, nung, nung nagkasala ang, kasala, nang, ang kasalanan, nung nakapasok ang kasalanan kay Eva at Adan, minana po natin yung kasalanan yun at naging dahilan para ang katawan po natin ay naging marupok. But, you know, originally the plan of God was so perfect. Adam and Eve had perfect bodies. They never got sick. But because of sin, the wages of sin is death. So, nagkaroon po ng kamatayan. Nagkaroon po ng kabulukan ng ating katawan. And so, nakakapasok po ang sakit karamdaman. At ang, pero ang sakit at karamdaman yan ay binayaran na ng Panginoon. Bagamat nakapasok ang sakit karamdaman. So, ang Lord gumawa ng solusyon para ang sakit karamdaman yun ay magkaroon ng solusyon. Paano po yun? Ang sabi niya, babatain ko na lahat yan. I will die on the cross. I will give my life on the cross. I will bear all the lahat po ng, 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 ng pagka, pagbugbog at pag, uh, pagpapakasakit. Sabi ng Panginoon, kukunin ko na lahat yan upang hindi na natin mararanasan. Amen po ba? Amen. The goodness of God is available to all and this availability is for everyone. Amen? And it covers all. 
aspects of our lives. Spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, mentally. So if you have mental anxiety, you are being tortured because of stress, because of mer meron kang uh, extreme worry sa buhay mo, meron kang suicidal thoughts, that is mental anxiety. God has paid for us on the cross. Jesus Christ paid for that on the cross. Meron kang financial problem, ikaw ay baon sa utang, hindi ka maka-breakthrough, hindi ka lumagulago sa negosyo, La lahat ng klase ng negosyo, pinasukan mo na, pero wala kang tagumpay. Lagi kang nababankrap, lagi kang na, 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 nalulugi. If you want financial breakthrough, God desires for you to experience that because His goodness is for everyone. Amen? God wants to protect you. Amen? When you go out there, na hindi ka nag-worry na ikaw ay tatablan ng mga sakit, virus, at anumang mga pakana at winaksi ng jablo. Amen? I inihagis ng jablo. Mga virus. The, the protection of God is there to sustain you. Amen? As I said, the wisdom. Do you need wisdom from God? Estudyante ka ba? Ikaw ba'y kinangangailangan ng karunungan, kaalaman mula sa Diyos? Ito ay available, handang ibigay ng Diyos sa'yo. Amen? Because God is good. Kailangan mo ba ng guidance? You are at the crossroad of your life. You don't know where to go, what direction you are going to follow in your life. God's goodness covers that. Guidance, direction, discernment, wisdom upon you. Amen? And as I said, the very life that you breathe is part of the goodness of God's manifestation in your life. Amen? So, ano po ba ang goodness ng Panginoon? Para sa iilan lang? Para sa lahat. Ibig sabihin, kasama ka doon? Kasama din ako doon. Praise God. It is for everyone to experience. But, as I said, we do not experience it because we do not recognize it. First, hindi po natin nararanasan dahil hindi po natin tinatanggap si Jesus sa buhay natin. The goodness of God was made available to us, was manifested to us when He sent His Son, the Lord Jesus, to die on the cross and pay the penalty of our sins. And then make available every blessing, every pro provision, amen, that He has paid for on the cross. So, number one key for us to receive that blessing is for us to surrender our life to Jesus. And let Jesus reign over us. Magiging matagumpay tayo. Mararanasan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos kapag isinuko natin ang buhay natin kay Kristo. Amen. In the same manner na hindi natin mararanasan ang kabutihan ng Diyos kung patuloy tayong malayo kay Kristo. Kung patuloy tayong nabubuhay sa sarili natin at hindi natin pinagkatiwala ang buhay natin sa Panginoon. Amen? So, magyayari lamang po na mararanasan natin ang fullness of the goodness of God when we have surrendered our very life, when we have laid down our very life to our Lord Jesus Christ. Because to in whom, you know, siya lamang ang pinagdadaanan ng lahat ng blessing ng Ama mula sa langit. Amen? Dahil po sa ginawa ng Panginoong Yesus. Okay. So, the goodness of God is absolute. The goodness of God is forever. The goodness of God is available to all. And number four, the goodness of God is manifested in many, many things in our lives. As I have said, marahil yung goodness na yun ay hindi nara natin nararanasan ng uh, kabuuan or ganap, bagamat yun ang kalooban ng Panginoon. But in many tidbits and pieces, small pieces in our lives, we, we experience that. Amen? Like the very air that we breathe every day, the very strength that we have to do our task every day, you know, the very wisdom that God gives us kapag kailangan natin ng wisdom to discern things, amen, the very direction, the very protection, amen, that He gives us whenever we go out there, you know, ilang beses na na ikaw, sabi ko nga ako, ilang beses na, na ang buhay ko ay uh, nailagay sa sa panganib, akala ko mamamatay na ako, nabangga ako ng sasakyan, dinala ako ng hospital. Pag uwi ko, buong-buo ako. Not even a bone in my body. Broken. Amen? 
wala ni isang buto na nabali na, na sa katawan ko kahit na binangga ako ng bilis-bilis na sasakyan. Amen. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, naikwento ko na yon na isang police car, hinahabol niya yung mga mga hold upper eh. A ako yung na ako yung na natagpuan nila at ako po yung binangga nila. Talsik po ako diyan sa Conception. Praise God. At nagdilim yung paningin ko pero nararamdaman ko lahat kasi, kasi ayoko kong matulog. Ayoko kong mawalan ng malay. Nilalabanan ko pero naririnig ko lahat ng mga uh, usap-usapan ng mga sundalo naka o battle gear sila, naka, mga naka-arma light. Nasumpungan nila yung sarili nila, dinadala nila ako sa ano, sa orthopedic hospital, hindi na doon sa ano, sa sa labanan ng mga hold upan. Amen. But you know, God, you know, at that very moment, that is when you see the goodness of God. That is when you experience the goodness of God in near-death experiences. And God has rescued you and saved you. That is when you say, God is good. Amen? And you accumulate those experiences. At habang ikaw ay nag-iipon ng mga ganong karanasan, lalo mong napapatunayan na ang Diyos ay mabuti. Amen? Amen? na kahit kailan hindi ka niya iniiwan, na kahit kailan hindi ka niya pinapabayaan, kanya kang iniligtas, kanya kang pinapagpala, kanya kang tinutulungan sa, hig- sa mahigpit mong pangangailangan. God is good. Amen? And that goodness never changes. So, God has manifested His goodness in many things. And number one is forgiveness. Forgiveness, yung pong pagpapatawad ng Diyos, ito po ang uh, pinakadakilang uh, kapahayagan ng kanyang kabutihan. Sa Psalm 86 verse 5, sabi po doon, For thou, O Lord, art good, and you are ready to forgive, plenteous in mercy, unto all them that call upon thee. Amen? I was a sinner. I was the worst of sinners, sabi ni, ni Apostle Pablo. And I was the worst of sinner. People thought that I was a very nice person, a very good person, a very kind person. Sabi nila, mabait daw akong bata. <laughs> mabait daw akong uh, tao. Pero hindi po totoo sapagkat ako po yung makasalanan din. Kagaya ng lahat ng tao. Pero isang araw, ako po'y kinahabaga ng Diyos. I was shown mercy. I was forgiven by the Lord. From my unrighteousness, from all of my sins, He blotted out all my sins. Mula pagkabata hanggang sa kasalukuyan, patuloy akong kinakahabagan ng Panginoon. I, I am not perfect. You know, I fail every now and then. But God's forgiveness is Plentus, sabi po sa Psalm 86 verse 5. It is so abundant and it is very ready. Amen? Lagi po siyang handang tayo ay patawarin. So the goodness of God is manifested in His forgiveness. And so right now, somebody is watching who is very much condemned. You are very condemned. Ikaw ay uh, full of guilt and condemnation because you feel like you cannot be forgiven by God. You have done a grave thing. Meron kang ginawang isang mabigat na bagay na sa paningin mo ay hindi ka na kayang patawarin. Hindi ka na kayang tanggapin ng Diyos. That God cannot accept you and God cannot forgive you because you have done a grave thing in the eyes of God. But the Lord is saying unto you, my, my dear friend, that God is ready to forgive you. If you will come to Him and ask forgiveness of your sins, God is ready to forgive you. If you will come to God in repentance right now, whatever you have been through in life, you know, your sins are, you know, innumerable. Hindi na mabilang ang mga kasalanan mo. And you feel so guilty and condemned. The Lord is saying unto you, I am ready to forgive you, my child. And if you come to Him today, you will experience the goodness of God. So the forgiveness of God is available for everyone, especially to those who come to Him in repentance. And I know that many of you are, who are watching right now have been seeking God, have been questioning whether you can be accepted by God, whether you can be forgiven by God. But I tell you, brethren, God is ready to accept you. God is ready to forgive you. You just surrender your life to Him, 
entrust to your, your life to Him and confess all your sins to God. Amen? So God is ready to for, forgive. Okay, next is the manifestation of the goodness of God is also in His grace. Hebrews 4.16 Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of our need. Hebrews 4.16 Okay? Sabi doon, atin daw pong i-approach ang throne of grace with confidence. Amen? Because sometimes, because we are guilt-ridden because of our sins, Nahihiya tayong lumapit sa Panginoon. Nahihiya tayong humingi sa Panginoon. But because of the grace of God, we can approach His throne with confidence so that we can receive mercy and find grace to help in times of our need. Amen? So tayo lang daw po ay lumapit sa Panginoon and He is willing and ready to receive us because of His abundant grace. Amen? Hebrews 4.16. Now, we don't have the confidence in our own righteousness. It is the righteousness of Jesus imputed upon us that gives us that confidence to approach His throne of grace. Makakalapit tayo ng may, ng, ng may uh, pagtitiwala sa uh, trono ng Panginoon, hindi sa pamamagitan ng ating katuwiran kundi sa pamamagitan ng katuwirang ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoong Jesus nung siya'y namatay sa krus ng Kalmaryo. Alright? So, the goodness of God is manifested in so many things. And number one is forgiveness. And number two is grace. And the others are what? Strength. You know? The goodness of God is manifested in you receiving strength in times of your weakness. Amen? The goodness of God is manifested in in your wisdom and knowledge when God gives it to you in difficult times of testings and trials and decisions. Kapag kailangan mo ng karunungan para makapag-desisyon ka ng tama, dumarating po ang karunungan ng Panginoon. At yan ay pagpapakita ng kabutihan ng Diyos. The goodness of God is manifested in your abilities and skills. You know, Makikita mo na lang, you yourself are amazed because, wow, meron pala akong ganung skill? Meron pala akong ganung talent? Meron pala akong ganung ability? Ikaw mismo hindi mo akalain, di ba? Because God has given you that skill, that ability, that talent to be able to do things and accomplish things, mga tasks na binigay sa iyo. Amen? So, uh, merong mga iba uh, gifted sa music. Amen? Meron yung mga iba gifted sa arts. Meron yung mga iba gifted sa service, sa paglilingkod. Yun yung anointing nila. To each and every one, the grace and the anointing of God is given. And with that grace, with that skill, with that anointing, you are able to do things you know, in a marvelous way. Na makikita mo, maa-amaze ang mga tao kasi ang galing mo pala. Amen? Ang galing mo pala. Bakit? Kasi God is good in your life. Amen? Walang ibang makakagawa nun. Ikaw lang. Ikaw lang talaga. The ability, the skill, the talent, the capability is given to you by the Lord because He is good in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hindi lahat makakatugtog ng organ with anointing. Hindi lahat makakapalo ng drums with anointing. Hindi lahat makakahawak ng mic at mag-flow, na parang umaawit ng mga anghel sa harapan and lead us in worship. Amen? Sapagkat yung iba, medyo pumupunta, pumapaling sa kaliwa at sa kanan ng boses. Amen? But everyone is given that skill and talent and ability and God is, and that is God's manifestation of goodness in your life. Amen? Ngayon, na-appreciate po ba natin yun? You know, that kind of, ano, that kind of talent. Amen? Not everyone can arrange a flower like that. Nakita niyo po yung flower dyan sa ibaba? Hindi po, ako hindi ko kaya yan i-arrange. Nang ganyan, kaganda. Tusok-tusok dito, ganyan. Tapos ganyan ang magiging appearance. Somebody who has the skill 
and the talent and the and the ability siya lang makakagawa niyan amen binigyan ng artistic skill and i amen po ba amen. and that is the manifestation of the goodness of god amen if we only realize that then you know siguro po mas magiging appreciative tayo mas magiging uh, magaan ang buhay hindi yung lagi tayong nagrereklamo amen kasi Uh, we, when we compare ourselves to others, doon tayo magkakaroon ng insecurity eh. Pag tayo po ay nag, nagkumpara ng ating mga abilidad, bakit siya ganun, bakit ako ganun, hindi. Hindi. God is good in your life. He has given you a unique talent, skill, and ability, and you alone has that. Sila wala nun. Amen po ba? Because God is good. Okay. When you need some direction, when you are lost, you know, In life, and God is there, you know, to manifest His goodness, to talk to you, to lead you, to guide you, where to go, what to do. That is the goodness of God. Amen. When you need discernment, especially when you are, as, as I said, at the crossroad of a very important decision in your life, nasa sangandaan ka ng buhay, kailangan mo magdecision. Dumarating ang presensya ng Dios, ang discernment ng Holy Spirit. Para tulungan kang magdesisyon ng tama at mabuti at hindi ka maligaw. Amen. Now, at the times of your uh, loss, which means you know you lost a loved one, you are very sad. You know you are very uh, lonely in in solitude. You know the comfort of God is there to manifest you. The Lord sends friends and brethren and good people to cheer you up, to encourage you, to help you. Amen. And that is the manifestation of the goodness of God. But we sometimes, we do not see that. We do not feel that. We do not appreciate that. Amen? And in whatever problems that come in your life, that God is there, you know, helping you to solve those problems, that is the manifestation of the goodness of God. So God's goodness is always available to be held and experienced and i hope that we will not miss on that amen na why maranasan po natin sa araw-araw ng buhay natin you know do not wait for you know life to be hard It's for you to decide to be happy amen wag mo wag mo nang hintayin na dumating ka pa sa kahirapan ng buhay para mo ma-experience yung pangako ng Diyos, yung kabutihan ng Diyos na ikaw ay maging uh, maligaya sa piling ng Diyos. Because for how many times in your life, God has rescued you. God has blessed you. God has saved you. For how many times in your life, God has enabled you to pass your exam and get the highest mark you know, and the grade. Amen. Incidentally, si Joseph, ganun-ganun lang po yun. Imagine nyo, hindi ko akalain nyo. Napaka, napakalayo sa hinagap ko nun. Si Joseph D.L. Si Joseph Den- Dean's Lister. Eh, tanggap ko na si Joseph. Eh, ano lang, kumbaga, parang ano niya, hindi ko siya pinapressure eh. Kasi, mm, alam ko iba, siya medyo sporty siya, ganun. Hindi siya more on academics. Pero imagine mo, DL siya, sumampa yung grade niya para maging Dean's Lister. Si Joseph yun na, and I did not even desire that. I did not even imagine that. You know, even things that you do not imagine or desire, God will let you experience it. Because God wants to bless you because God is good. Amen? Napakabuti ng Panginoon. You know, how many times did God, you know, come to you and fix you? You know, when you are so broken, when you are so you know, wasted, you know, walang wala ka na, wala ka nang pupuntahan, basag na basag ka na, durog na durog ka na, pero dumarating ang Diyos para itayo ka. How many times did God come to solve your marriage problems, you know, your relationship problems? How many times did God provide for all your needs, like paying your bills, paying your tuition fees, amen? You know, paying all of your obligations. Kaya ako, ilang taon na ako ngayon, I have never seen God fail in my life. And so, whenever there is a big need, 
I do not worry anymore because I know that God will provide because God is good. Amen? Kanino bang ministeryo to? Lord, hindi ko naman ministeryo to. Hindi naman to Chanen Carillo ministry. Kanino bang ministeryo to? Ministeryo ni Jesus. Kaya, Lord, ikaw magpo-provide nito. You will provide for all our needs because this is your ministry. Sino may ari ng ministeryo nito? Hindi po ang mga karilyo. Hindi po ang mga kung sino-sino. Ang may ari po ng ministeryo nito ay si Jesus. And so, He is good. He will provide. Amen? Likewise in your life. If you recognize that God is good in your life, then God will manifest His goodness. He will pay for your bills. He will give you financial breakthrough. He will provide for your tuition fees. Amen? He will provide sa pambayad ng mga utang kung ikaw man ay nabaon sa utang. Because how many God has proven His goodness upon your life? How many times? Amen? I pray and I hope that you realize that, that God is good. Amen? Amen. Psalm 107.31 Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Alright? So His goodness is available to all the children of men. James 1.17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shifting of shadows. Amen? James 1.17 Lahat daw po ng mabuti ay saan galing? From above. Everything that is good is from above. So galing po yan sa Lord. Alright? So, sa Psalm 34 verse 8, sabi doon, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. Amen? God wants everyone to taste and see His goodness. When you taste, you experience it. Nalalasahan mo. When you see, nakikita mo. It is a sense of touch. Okay? Sense of seeing and, and, and sense of taste. Yun po, tangible. Gusto ng, mar- ng Panginoon maranasan natin yung tangible goodness niya sa buhay natin. So, taste and see that the Lord is good. God wants you to taste His goodness in your life. God wants you to see His goodness in your life. Amen po ba? Kailan? Pag, pag wala na, pag wala na, pag, pag uh, patapos na yung buhay mo, Psalm 27:13. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Kailan po natin dapat maranasan yung goodness of the Lord? In the land of the living. Habang ikaw ay nabubuhay. In the land of the living, not in the land of the dead. God wants you to experience His goodness now. So whatever you need from God, God wants you to experience it. Amen? Are you suffering from debilitating disease? Meron ka bang sakit na ikaw ay binubulid sa, sa paralysis and, and being bedridden all your life? God has you know, made it sure that Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, will give you healing and miracle if you have faith and if you believe. Amen? Taste and see that the Lord is good. Gusto mo bang maranasan? Gusto mo bang matikman ang kabutihan ng Diyos? Gusto mo bang ibangon kanya mula sa iyong sakit karamdaman? Gusto mo bang lumago ka, mapagpala ka? Gusto mo bang maging matagumpay ka? God wants you to taste and see. Amen? And so, challenge God right now. Lord, I want to taste you. I want to see you. Your goodness. Amen? Reach out to God. Humingi ka, humingi ka sa Panginoon nang maranasan mo ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sapagkat ang sabi niya, taste and see that the Lord is good. You will never taste, you will never see unless you, you know, kagatid mo. Amen? Malibang imulat mo ang mata mo. Hindi mo makikita, hindi mo mararanasan ang matitikman. 
At yun po ang nais ng Panginoon. Sa buhay natin, God wants us to experience His goodness now in the land of the living. Now that we are alive. Not in our deathbed. Hindi po yung mamamatay na tayo, doon lang natin mararanasan ang goodness ng Panginoon. God forbid. Amen? May it be that now we experience the goodness of God because it is His promise. It is His will. It is His very will. But as I said, why do some people do not experience, do not taste and see the goodness of God? Because number one, they do not know Jesus in their lives. Hindi po si Jesus ang kanilang Lord and Savior. Number two, their, their perception of the goodness of God is based on, on circumstances. Nakabase sa mga sirkumstansya ng buhay nila. Hindi po doon nakabase ang goodness ng Panginoon. Number three, they do not experience, they do not taste and see the goodness of God because they don't see the reason, the purpose, and the value of these things that are happening in their lives. Basta ang alam nila, pangit, ang pangit talaga, hindi ko, hindi ko gusto yung nangyayari sa akin. Hindi po nila nakikita yung dahilan. May dahilan po ang lahat ng bagay, may purpose, may value yun. Hindi po nagkakamali ang Diyos. He, he does not, hindi po nagkakamali ang Diyos. Pag may nangyari sa buhay natin, hindi pagkakamali ng Diyos yun. Amen? So kapag may nangyari hindi maganda sa buhay natin, there must be a reason. There must be a purpose. There is a value to that. Hintayin mo lang. Sapagat Romans 8.28, in the end, it will turn out together for good. Amen? So, mali po yung ating pananaw, yung perspective natin. So, once we change our perspective and we see that, Oh, Lord, there is a reason for this and thank you because you are good. Despite the pangit yung nangyayari, you declare God is good. Yes, Lord, you are good. Eh, ang pangit ng nangyayari, God is good. Lord, pa- palala ng palala itong uh, anak ko, palala ng palala itong asawa ko, palala ng palala itong sakit ko, palala ng palala itong uh, nararanasan ko. God is good. The goodness of God is absolute. Amen. Niloloko niyo yung sarili niyo, mga Kristiyano. <laughs> Marahil masasabi ng maraming tao, Neil, are you fooling yourself? Niloloko mo sarili mo eh. Bakit na nga nangyayari? God is good ka pa diyan. Hello? Because the just shall live by faith. Nabubuhay sa pananampalataya ang mga tunay na anak ng Diyos. Now, whether you agree with me or not, You know, that, that is how we, we, we look at things. Amen? So, bakit hindi po nararanasan ng marami ang goodness ng Panginoon? Aside from the things that I have enumerated, because many people do not acknowledge the sovereignty of God in their lives, that God is sovereign. Amen? Sa lahat ng nagaganap at nangyayari sa buhay natin, ang Diyos ang sovereign dyan, makapangyarihan. Alam niya yung ginagawa niya. Okay, number, ang susunod po ay they do not acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ in their lives. Sabi ko nga kanina, hindi po kasi si Jesus ang Lord and Savior ng buhay nila. Kaya pag nangyayari ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay nila, hindi po nila may pagkatiwala sa Panginoon. Amen? Ang kanilang uh, mga circumstansya. Because the Lord Jesus is not sovereign in their lives. Amen? And uh, lastly, these people do not experience the goodness of God because they do not understand the true nature and character of God. We go back to our first reason. The goodness of God is His very nature. It is His very character. And so, that never changes. Hindi yun magbabago. Hindi nagbabago ang kabutihan ng Diyos sapagkat yun ang kanyang nature, yun ang kanyang Kabu- ang kanyang karakter. Kapag nagbago yon hindi na siya Diyos. Pero salamat sapagat hindi nagbabago ang Diyos, kaya ang kabutihan niya sa buhay natin ay mananatili. Amen? Ano man ang ating kalalagayan. Hello? Alright. So, let me conclude in, uh, in bringing you to the life of Moses, the man of God in the Old Testament, and how he dealt with, uh, and how God has dealt with him about His goodness. Okay, sa Exodus 33, verse 18 to 23. And I pray that, you know, you be with me in here kasi magkukonclude na po ako. Sa Exodus 33, 18 to 23, Moses said, Now, show me your glory. Moses is talking to God. 
And he said, now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. And I will proclaim my name, the Lord in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. All right. Now, Moses is chosen by God to lead his people, the Israelites. That is an enormous task. Mabigat na trabaho. Mabigat na responsibilidad. Kaya si Moses, humihingi siya ng assurance sa Diyos. Humihingi siya ng assurance sa Panginoon sabi niya, show me your glory. I, I cannot handle this. These are like millions of people. Pinagkatiwala mo sa akin. How can I? Kaya sabi niya, now show me your glory. He needed an assurance of God's presence and living in his life. And he wanted to see the glory of God. He wanted to see the face of God. He wanted to see the glory of God. At ano po ang sagot ng Panginoon? The Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. This is how God dealt with Moses. Moses wanted to see the glory of God. But Moses said, I am good, Moses. I, God said, I am good to you, Moses. You cannot, sabi, sabi ni, ni Lord, you cannot handle me. You cannot handle my glory. No mortal being can stand in the greatness of my glory, Moses. My goodness is enough. And I will cause my goodness to pass in front of you. At ang sabi ni siya ng instruction, go in the truck, pumwesto ka doon. And I will cover you but I will pass by you. Kasama ng pagpas ng Panginoon ay yung kanyang goodness. The presence of God is in His goodness. Naunawaan ho ba natin? Masyado pong malaki yung, yung, yung glory ng Panginoon that He will die. Moses will die kapag nakita po niya yung glory niyon. Kaya po ang sabi ng Panginoon, My goodness will pass over you, will pass in front of you. Amen? This is how God responded by telling him that I am good to you, Moses. Hindi kita iniwan, hindi kita pinabayaan, naging mabuti ako sa'yo. And so the Lord said, I will proclaim my name, the Lord. Amen? Sinabi ng Lord sa kanya, I am The great I am. Nung siya po ay kinausap niya sa, sa burning bush. Who are you? And the Lord said, I am. I am. Ano po ba yung I am? The great I am. This is my name. My name forever. The great I am. Anong ibig sabihin? I am. I am everything that you need, Moses. I am everything that you need, my child. I am your healer. I am your blessing. I am your protection. I am your guidance. I am your strength. I am your joy. I am your companion. I am your best friend. I am in your life. Amen? This is how God responded to Moses. He did not let him see his glory, just a glimpse. Because he will die. No mortal man can stand the glory of God. And God knows that. Ang sabi ng Diyos kay Moses, My goodness is enough, Moses. I will pass in front of you. I am who I am. Ako ang kailangan mo, hindi ang glory. Marami po kasi nalalasing sa glory. 
Amen? Pag naranasan yung glory, na, nalunod sa glory, pag bango nila, kala nila sila na. Amen? So, bato rito, bato riyan. Amen? Lay hands dito, lay hands dito, sigaw dito, sigaw dyan. Glory, glory, glory. Hindi po yun, sabi ng Panginoon. Kapiraso lang yung glory na naranasan mo, pero nagpa-pop up ka. Amen? Glory. One of the three Gs na failure ng tao. Gold, girls, glory. Amen? Kapag sobra si, si pa- Apostle Pablo, grabe yung glory na nakita niya. A glimpse of the glory of God. Kaya sobrang glory yung naranasan niya. Binigyan siya ng torn of the flesh para hindi po siya mag-pop up. Hindi po siya yumabang. Hindi po siya lumaki yung ulo. Sapagat marami pong nakaranas ng glory, pag tayo nila, kala nila sila na. Hello? Kaya ang Diyos, hindi po niya ipinakita ng buo at ganap. Amen? Ang sabi lang niya, Moses, close your eyes. Go to that rock and wait because I will pass in front of you. My goodness will pass in front of you. Amen? And so it's the same manner that God is causing us to realize that the goodness of God is passing in front of us. The goodness of God will be with us all the days of our lives. It will sustain us. Marahil, bago dumating ang Panginoon, magkakaroon po tayo ng matinding mga laban ng buhay. Mabigat na laban ng buhay. But may it be that we do not forget that the goodness of God is always with us. Ang kabutihan ng Diyos ay laging suma sa atin. At ang kabutihan yun ay hindi nagbabago. It's absolute. It's complete. It's unconditional. No ifs, no buts. Amen? So the goodness of God is too great for... Uh, the, gr- the glory of God is too great for man to fathom. And so... The glory of God is related to His goodness. Kaya ang sabi ng, ng Panginoon, Moses, my goodness, sapat na sa'yo. Amen? Because my glory is unfathomable, uncontainable. It is beyond perception. It is beyond bearing. Hindi natin kayang, amen, ba- batain yung, yung, yung uh, glory na yun. Kaya naman ang Panginoon, minamanifest niya, sa mga small bits and pieces of our lives, His goodness. Amen? At yun po ay makikita sa the very air that we breathe. Amen? The joy that we feel to our families and the brethren in the provisions that we have whenever we have a big need, in the protection that we have in the face of this pandemic. Amen? Na hindi po tayo uh, matatablan o magkakasakit sapagkat ang Diyos pong nag-iingat sa atin that God's protection is with us through dangers and storms in our lives, that in our physical bodies, whenever we feel, you know, we, we feel weak, you know, we get sick, we have the, the healing of God, amen, to cling on to the physical body and the health that we have is something that is a manifestation of the goodness of God. Sa ating pong mga marriage and relationships, pag nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga problema, it is the goodness of God that will fix it, that will sustain it. Amen? And uh, the very reason that we are alive now, you know, the very life that we have, why we continue on to fight the good fight of faith, you know, all of which has been provided for in the cross. So, when we want to see the glory of God just like Moses... Praise God pag magkaroon tayo ng glimpse ng glory na yon. But more than the glory, let us look onto Jesus because He is the one who is manifesting that glory in our lives in tiny small bits and pieces of His goodness na naranasan natin sa araw-araw. Amen? Kapag nag-desire ka ng, ng, ng glory ng Diyos, baka malunod ka. Amen? Pero sapat nang maranasan mo ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa araw-araw ng buhay mo. Ang una pong magiging daan para maranasan natin yon ay tanggapin natin si Jesus Christ as our personal Lord, God, and Savior. Sa so Psalm 86 verse 5, 
For you, O Lord, are good. You are ready to forgive. You are abundant and loving kindness to all who call upon you. Nahum 1.7 The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in Him. And Psalm 31 verse 19 Oh, how great is your goodness, O God, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust you in the presence of the sons of man. And may I close in Exodus 34 verse 6. The Lord God says, The Lord, the Lord God is merciful and gracious. He is long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. Amen. So if you have forgotten that God is good, nawa sa araw na to, ay ma-revive po yung ating paniniwalang yon na mabuti ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Kung nakalimutan na natin na mabuti ang Diyos sapagkat sobra yung sakit na dinadanas natin, sobrang bigat nung laban natin, sobrang uh, nawawala na tayo ng pag-asa kasi parang palala ng palala sa halip na bumuti ang ating kalalagayan. Naway wag po nating makalimutan na mabuti ang Diyos anuman ang ating nararanasan ngayon. At meron ngayong nanunood, ikaw ay nasa ibang bansa, umiiyak ka at ang iyong puso ay durog na durog sapagkat hirap ka nang mapaniwalaan na mabuti ang Diyos. That the goodness of God is real. It is so difficult for you to believe because you are in pain. In your mind and in your body, you are suffering. Brethren, the goodness of God is real. The goodness of God is truth. The goodness of God is absolute. The goodness of God is forever. Whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not. Tayo pong lahat ay yung muko. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so. Of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. Believe it, brethren. And all my life you have been faithful. Of the goodness of God 
because your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Surely, your goodness is the goodness and mercy of God is will follow me all the days of my life. watching now your goodness is running the goodness of God is, running out is ready to be poured out upon you my life lay down as you be ready to receive I give you the goodness of God will be poured out upon you and he will manifest it in your healing and complete miracle so receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Your goodness is running after You are crying out to God. You are losing hope. But the Lord is never late or early. Because today, God is manifesting His goodness by giving you a complete miracle and healing. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. God's power is being poured upon you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Just receive in the name of Jesus. Yes, God is healing you from your infirmity, disease, and sickness. Whatever the name of that sickness and disease, believe God and now He is manifesting upon your life. Receive. Complete healing and miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Kidney failure is being healed by God. Liver cancer is being healed by God. Brain tumor is being healed by God. Breast cancer is being healed by God. ALS is being healed by God. Whatever incurable sickness, disease, God has made it on the cross. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God, receive your healing, the manifestation of God's goodness. Just receive it completely, totally, absolutely. In the name of Jesus, yes. Even right now, the Lord is making your hypertension and blood pressure normalized in Jesus' name. Diabetes is being healed by God. Hypertension is being healed by God. Muscle diseases, blood diseases, bone diseases are being touched by God in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. All my life, you have been so, so good with every breath that I am. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful, Lord. Hallelujah. And all my life you have been faithful. Yes. Just receive whatever you need from God. All my life the Lord is giving you peace that surpasses all understanding. Even right now, your worries and anxieties are being healed by the Lord. You are being set free from your depression and stress and oppression. Just receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even family problems, family disputes, relationship problems, son between son and a mother, between son and a father, between a daughter and a father, a daughter and a mother, brother and brother, sister to sister. Whatever family troubles, problems, disputes you have, God, by His sovereign power, is just fixing everything in your family right now. Yes, 
Hindi kayang gawin ng tao. Pero kayang gawin ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Panampalatayanan mo at pasalamatan ng Diyos. Inaayos niya ang iyong pamilya. Inaayos niya ang iyong anak. Inaayos niya ang iyong tatay, ang iyong nanay. Inaayos niya ang iyong kapatid. Ano man ang imposible sa tao, kaya ang gawin ng Diyos. With every breath that I am made, Whatever financial need you have from God, you are in dire need right now for finances. The Lord is saying, my child, I own everything in this world. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Silver and gold are mine, saith God. I can bless you and I am able to bless you. And so receive it now, saith the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Lord God, open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing upon your people, O oh God. Especially, Panginoon, sa mga tapat. Sa mga tapat, Ama. Sa iyo at sa iyong gawain. Panginoon, patunayan mo na ikaw ay mabuti sa mga taong tapat sa iyo. You will never fail because you are good and faithful. Yes. Just receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is opening the heavens to bless you. Receive, saith God. Receive my blessing, saith the Lord. Your goodness is running after It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after yes, me. the goodness of God is running after you. The blessing of God is running after you. The blessings of God is running after you. The healing of God is running after you. The breakthrough, the financial blessing is running after you. And whatever you need from God, it is running after you now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm surrendered. Your blessing. Your blessing is running after. It's running after. Your healing is running after. Your healing is running after. It's running after me. Your blessing is running after. Your blessing yes. is running after. It's running after me. Yes, oh God. Surrendered now, I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. And this is what the Lord says You, my faithful child, your times of depression, your times of doubt and unbelief is over. Because today, 
I have given you a breakthrough. My goodness will truly run after you. My blessings will truly run after you. My healing, my prosperity, my breakthrough will truly run after you, saith God. Continue to have faith in me, saith the Lord, for I who promised is faithful. I will bless you. I will prosper you. I will give you victory, saith God. And my goodness will follow you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. Yes, O oh God. Darating ang panahon, Panginoon, na parang hindi totoo. Pero hindi namin paniniwala na aming narar- naririnig, nakikita at nararamdaman. Sapagkat ang paniniwalaan namin, Ikaw ay mabuti. We will believe that the goodness of God will follow us all the days of our lives. Even in times when it is difficult to believe, even in times when it is hard to believe, the goodness of God will run after us, will follow us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Isa muna pong malakas na palakpak para sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, sa napakagandang mensahe mo sa araw na ito. Truly, God is good all the time. Amen? Amen? Amen. At sa mga oras na ito, tayo po ay magbibigay ng ating mga tithes and offering. Amen po ba? Alam na alam natin ang Malakay 3a to 12. Malakay 3:10, ang buong ika ang buong ika po ay dapat dalhin natin sa kanyang tahanan upang matugunan ang lahat ng pangangailangan nito, pagkain, everything. Amen po. At susunod na verse, subukin mo ako kung hindi Bubuksan ko ang mga durungawan ng langit at ibubuhos sa iyo ang masaganang pagpapala na walang sukat di kalagyan. Amen po ba? Amen. At alam na nga po nating lahat yan. Amen. At ano po ang sabi ng Hebreyo 10.23? Samahan niyo po akong basahin. Magpakatatag tayo sa ating pag-iisa. I'm sorry. Magpakatatag tayo sa ating pag-asa at huwag mag-alinlangan. Sapagkat tapat ang nangako sa atin at sikapin nating mapukaw ang damdamin ng bawat isa sa pag-ibig sa kapwa at sa paggawa ng mabuti. Amen po. Magpakatatag tayo sa ating pag-asa at huwag mag-alinlangan sapagkat tapat ang nangako sa atin. Amen? Tapat po ang ating Panginoon sa kanyang mga pangako. Kagaya nga po ng ng mga ng, ng mensahe ng lingkod na Diyos kanina pang umaga amen po ba God is faithful Deuteronomy 7:9 amen po at hindi lamang sa mga sarili natin hanggang sa mga saling lahi natin amen ang pagpapala ay dumadaloy ganun kabuti ang Panginoon at sabi doon sa binasa natin sa Hebreo 10:23 na tayo ay huwag mag-alinlangan magpakatatag tayo kahit sa panahong ito na parang maraming walang trabaho, maraming kokonti ang negosyo o kokonti ang kita, amen, magpakatatag tayo. Magkaroon tayo ng pag-asa, malaking pag-asa sa ating Panginoon na nangangako sa atin na hindi tayo iiwan, hindi tayo pababayaan. Amen? God is good. Amen? 
His goodness is running after us. Sabi ng Deuteronomy 28, ang blessings ay mag-overtake sa atin. Amen? Kung tayo ay marunong sumunod, kung tayo ay tapat, kung tayo ay buong nananampalataya na ibinibigay po natin ng ating mga ikapo at handog. Amen po ba? Napakabuti ng Panginoon sapagkat anumang panahon meron tayo ngayon, eto tayong patuloy na nabubuhay, patuloy na ang buhay natin ay pinapagpala ng Panginoon. Amen? Ang sabi ng Lord, magbigay ka at ikaw ay bibigyan ng Diyos. Hustong takal, siksikliglig at umaapaw pa. Ano man ang takalang ginamit mo, ay siya rin gagamitin sa'yo. Lucas sa East 38. Amen? So, napakabuti ng ating Panginoon at patuloy nating nararanasan ng mga pagpapala niya. Amen po ba? Kaya dapat patuloy rin tayo magbigay ng ating mga ikapu at handog. At isama na rin po natin, hindi lamang yon ang ating pagsuporta, ang ating love gift sa man and the woman of God. Amen po. Sila ay naglilingkod sa Diyos, so wala silang business. Wala silang trabaho na katulad natin. So tayo ay patuloy nilang inaalagaan, patuloy nilang pinapanalangin, patuloy nilang tinuturuan. Amen? So dapat tayong natututo at napagpagpala ng, ng dahil sa kanila. Amen? Through them, tayo ay nabibless. Amen po? So dapat tayo ay marunong ding magbigay ng blessing sa man and the woman of God. Amen? Amen po ba? At ano pang sabi dito sa verse 23? Sikapi nating mapukaw ang damdamin ng bawat isa sa pag-ibig sa kapwa at paggawa ng mabuti. Amen sa ating pagbibigay. Alam natin, hindi lang blessings ang tinatanggap natin. Marami pong mga hindi paligtas na kaluluwa ang naliligtas. Amen. Dahil meron tayong TV, meron... Uh, meron tayong um, radio ministry, amen? At alam natin na ang mga lingkod ng Diyos ay humahayo, wala po silang pahinga. Amen po ba? Tuloy-tuloy ang paghayo ng mga full-time, tuloy-tuloy ang pagbabible study. So, gumawa po tayo ng mabuti para sa ating mga kapatid, suportahan natin sila. Amen? Bigyan natin sila ng blessing para magtuloy-tuloy, magtuloy-tuloy ang kanilang paghayo. So, at ano pang sabi? Yung paggawa natin ng mabuti. Amen? So, ang lahat ng ito ginagawa natin kasi mabuti si Lord, tayo rin dapat mabuti. Amen po ba? At wala namang, wala daw pong naidadagdag talaga ang pag-aalala sa ating buhay. So, wala tayong dapat ipangamba sa ating mga buhay kung ano man ang nararanasan, kung ano mang Um, sitwasyon meron ngayon ng ating bansa, ang ating economy, hindi po tayo umaasa dyan. Kay Lord po tayo umaasa. At nananampalataya tayo na ang Diyos po ang gagawa ng paraan upang tayo ay Kanyang pagpalain at upang tugunan ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Amen po ba? At yun nga, bukod sa ating tithes and offering, isama po, po lahat gin natin do sa ating sobre, kompleto po ang mga ministeryo dyan. So, malalaman po natin dyan kung ano pang mga ministry, TV, radio, sa, sa mga needs pa ng ating church, sa mga due dates din ng church, kuryente, tubig. So, lahat po yan ay binabayaran. So, magpatuloy po tayo sa pagbibigay ng ating mga ikapo at handog at magpatuloy rin po tayo sa pagbibigay ng ating love gift sa man and woman of God magpapatuloy rin po ang pagpapalang siksikliglig at umaapaw sa ating mga buhay. Amen po ba? Sige po atin pong ipanalangin ng ating mga ika po at handog. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Napakabuti mo, Panginoon, sa amin, mga buhay. At magpapatuloy kang mabuti, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Panginoon. At dalangin ko, Lord God, na 
gawin namin ang aming tungkulin bilang mga anak mo, maibigay namin lagi, Lord, ang aming mga ikapu at handog, at maibigay rin namin ang aming pag ang aming mga love gifts sa man and woman of God. At Lord, dalangin ko po na ang mga pera, Panginoon, ay dumami pa, Panginoon. Magmultiply ito, Panginoon. At naniniwala kami, Panginoon. Ikaw ang aming mapaghimalang Diyos. Ikaw po ang bahala, Panginoon. Ikaw ang may, ma- may mas mainam na magagawa, Panginoon, kesa sa amin. Kaya nga, Father God, pinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo ang aming mga buhay. Pinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo, Lord, ang aming mga business, ang aming mga trabaho, ang mga uh, pangkabuhayan, pinagkakakitaan, Panginoon. Pinagkakatiwala po namin sa iyo ito. Ikaw po, Lord God, ang magpala. Ikaw po ang gumawa, Panginoon, ng kaparaanan upang lumago at sumagana pa ang aming mga hanap buhay, O Diyos. At maibalik po namin sa iyo ang lahat ng aming mga ikapot handog at ang aming pagsuporta sa man and woman of God. Lord, ikaw ay tapat at mananatili kang tapat magpakailan kailan pa man sa aming mga buhay. Maraming maraming salamat, Ama. Tinugon mo na po ang aming mga panalangin. Tinugon mo na po ang lahat ng aming pangangailangan financial, material, kung ano-ano pa, Panginoon, na aming mga kailangan. Kagalingan, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat sa katugunan sa lahat ng ito, Panginoon. Sa iyo po namin, maingat, Lord, na ibinabalik ang lahat ng pagsamba, pag, papuri, pasasalamat, at pagdakila sa tanging pangalan ni Jesus. Amen at Amen. Amen? Amen. Bago po namin, natin iwakasan ang, ang gawain sa oras na ito, sa araw na ito, tayo po lamang nga uh, umawit sumamba at ideklara natin na ang tunay nga na ang goodness ng Lord ay nasa sa atin. Ang, ang goodness ng Lord ay perfect, wagas, at always will follow us. Let us sing the goodness of God. I will come to you with a grateful heart and your goodness will follow us, Lord. Amen. Hey. Let us sing, dance before our God Church. Let us sing and praise His name for His goodness. It's unconditional, it's absolute and constant. In the holy place And I have known your mighty way I will remember your mercy And Lord, your faithfulness Lord, your goodness and your love will follow me All the days of my life I'm surrounded with the favor of the Lord Always and forever Once again I will come to you I will come to you with an open heart And bring the sacrifice of praise I have seen your power in the holy place And I have known your mighty ways I will remember your mercy And Lord, your faithfulness All the days of my life I'm surrounded with the favor of the Lord Always and forever Lord, your goodness and your love will follow me All the days of my life I'm surrounded with the favor of the Lord Always and forever Lord, your goodness and your love will follow me All the days of my life I'm surrounded Always and forever, I will remember your mercy and Lord your faithfulness. All 
the days of my life I'm surrounded by the favor of the Lord Always and forever my life Always and forever, Lord, your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life. I'm surrounded with the favor of the Lord. Always and forever, Lord, your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life. I'm surrounded with the favor of the Lord. Always and forever. Your goodness will overflow us and will be with us always and forever, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Jesus Christ. Sige po, tayo po ay dadako sa pangwakas na panalangin. Salamat Panginoon sa hapon na ito o Diyos dahil sapat ang iyong kapangyarihan upang kami Panginoon. Hallelujah. Pagpalain upang kami Panginoon o God patuloy na pagalingin sa sakit karamdaman at patuloy na napasaganain tugunan ng pangangailangan o Lord at kaligtasan ng lahat, Panginoon, ng, ng tao, Panginoon, O Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa, sa iyong salita na patuloy, O Diyos, na aming maisabuhay, Panginoon, dahil sa, sa pandemyang ito, Panginoon, Lord, lalo ka namin kailangan, lalo namin kailangan ang iyong kapangyarihan, ang iyong himala, ang iyong Panginoon kaligtasan, ang pagpapala, Panginoon, O God, sa aming buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon. Uh, Panginoon, dahil binigyan mo muli kami ng pagkakataon upang purihin ka namin, sambahin at pasalamatan sa aming buhay at katagumpayan, Panginoon, O God. Lalong-lalo na sa, sa gawain, Panginoon, O God, na ito sa church na pinagkatiwala mo, Panginoon. Patuloy na lalago, lalawak, Panginoon, dahil ikaw po, Panginoon, ang aming Provider. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang nagliligtas sa aming mga mahal sa buhay, Panginoon. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang gumagawa ng Himala. Ikaw po ang nagpapagaling, Panginoon. Ikaw po ang nagpapasagana sa aming mga buhay. Salamat po sa buhay ng nagturo, Panginoon. Patuloy, O God, na uh, supply mo ang lahat nilang pangangailangan ng kanyang buong pamilya, Panginoon. Dahil sila, Panginoon, nagbigay sila ng buhay, O Lord, patuloy mong pagpalain, Panginoon, at tugunan sila sa lahat nilang pangangailangan. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil mabuti ka sa aming buhay. Naranasan namin, Panginoon, ang kabutihan mo. Naranasan namin, Panginoon, ang pagsama mo, Panginoon. Naranasan namin, O Lord, ang kapangyarihan mo, ang himala mo sa aming buhay. Kaya salamat po, Panginoon, at sa susunod na linggo na wa, Panginoon, patuloy kaming dumalo uli at magdala pa kami ng maraming kaluluwa sa lugar na to. Sa iyo po ang papuri, Panginoon, sa iyo po ang ka kapangyarihan, O Diyos, at sa iyo po, Panginoon, ang haleluya, ang glory, Panginoon, ay sa iyo lamang sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord.